What's up YouTube? Welcome to .NET Mob. In this video, I will show you how to display or populate database table in data grid view using C Sharp. Before starting this video tutorial, I would like to ask you a favor. If you found this video helpful, please thumbs up this video. And for more awesome videos like this, please be subscribed to this channel .NET Mob. Without further explanation, let's get started. This is my Visual Studio. In order to explain this topic, we have to create a Windows Form application. For that, you can click on this new project here, or you can go to File, then New, then Project, or you can use the shortcut Ctrl Shift N. Under Visual C Sharp, select Windows, then Windows Form application. Here we can name our project. I will name it as Display DB Table in data grid view then select the location where you want to save this application then click on ok so here we have a brand new windows form application it comes with a default form form 1 this is my management studio here we have a database font book db with table font book inside the table we have some test rows and we want to display these rows inside the data grid view in order to bind or display a database table in data grid view, we have two approaches and we will discuss that using two different data grid views. For that, let me add two data grid view and one button into this form. Button text will be Populate data grid view. First data grid view name should be DGV1. Second data grid view name DGV2. When you so click on this populate data grid view button, we will retrieve these rows from this table font book and we will display that data in these two data grid views. We have to create click event for this button. For that, double click on it. First of all, I am going to declare a string variable to store the connection string. String connection string. For now, I will paste the connection string here. And we need to import the namespace system.data.sql client inside the button click event we are going to start with using statement sql connection as sql con equals new sql connection inside that we have to pass the connection string sql con dot open after that we can write C sharp code for retrieving these data from this table. Keep in mind that using statement is a best practice to interact with database in C sharp. We don't want to close this SQL connection at the end of statement. If there is any error in between these lines of execution, using statement will close the SQL connection for you. Now let's start with SQL data adapter. SQL data adapter as SQL DA equals new sql data adapter inside that first of all we have to pass the select query to retrieve data from the table phone book select star from phone book as a second parameter we will pass the sql connection object now we need to create a data table object here data table dtbl equals new data table now we need to execute this query sqlda.fill dtbl. Now inside this data table dtbl, we have all the rows inside this table phone book. Now we are going to use this data table in order to bind these data grid views here. Now let's try the method one. Method one. It's direct method, direct method. Using this method, we are going to display data table inside this data grid view DGV1. 
for that you can do this dgv1 dot data source equals dtbl that's it it's that simple now let me run this application for that click on the start button here now click on this populate data grid view button that's it all of the rows from this table phone book is displayed in this data grid view if you want to avoid any of these columns from this data grid view you have to change this query here instead of select star you have to replace this star with corresponding columns column name from this table is displayed as the data grid view column headers here so this method will give you the flexibility to bind any kind of table into this data grid view independent of number of columns independent of column name now I am going to try method to bind this data table inside this data grid view tgv2 for that let me close this application here method 2 using data grid view columns so inside this data grid view I am going to display these three columns phone book ID first name and last name for that first of all we have to add data grid view columns into this data grid view for that click on this right arrow here then edit columns now we need to add three columns here click on add so here we have to pass three values first of all column name in this case i will pass this phone book id here phone book id then column header i will type it as id column click on add if you want to hide this column you can uncheck this visible checkbox now click on add we have to add two more columns first name first name header text will be first name here we need a space click on add now we need last name last space name click on add close this click on ok now inside the button click event we have to do this dgv2 dot data source equals dtbl that's it let me run this application click on populate data grid view so here you can see the first method and here we have the second method now we have to bind this phone book id with this id column and first name with this first name column then last name with this last name column for that you have to do this click on this right arrow edit columns then we have to change this data property name here you have to copy this column name from here phone book id pasting here and we have to do the same for remaining columns first name and last name click on ok run this application click on this button so here you can see that these first three columns are from this data grid view column and remaining three columns contact email and address are not added inside this data grid view still it is showing in order to avoid that we have to do this dgv2 dot auto generated columns equals false we have to set this before assigning this data source let me run this application click on this button so here we have data grid view columns only now let's discuss advantages and disadvantages of these two methods in the first method you have the freedom to bind any kind of data table inside this data grid view in the second method we have a particular kind of data is to be binded and we have the corresponding column name in data property name it should be matched then only that column will be binded into this data grid view 
In the first method, we have displayed this uh, data grid view column headers as the column name from this table font book without any space. In method 2, you can set the column headers using the design itself. And the last one, if you want to find any value from this column, you have to use the column index. In second method, you can use the data grid view column name that we have given during this uh, design. In development state, there might be some changes in column order. If you were trying to retrieve data using column index, you may need to change column index in your code. If you were using column names like method 2, you don't need to change your code according to the column index. That's it guys. If you found this video helpful, please be subscribed to this channel dotnet more. You can download this project source code with DB script from the link given below in video description. For more related videos, please go through video description. Please like and share this video with your friends and colleagues so that they can benefit from this. Have a nice day. Bye.